Sorry, is, is it okay if I show my face and speak without my death rattle? Yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things when I'm sucking in air ominously from behind my hood, I have a hard time also being vulnerable, you know, and open and stuff. Because inevitably, it just kind of feels like I'm on. Um, you know, and the whole point of these sessions was for me to sort through my toxic performative bullshit. So, Ari. Yeah, she doesn't like swearing. No, she hates swearing. She, it's not family friendly, so sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good week for me. Um, what did I do? I don't know. Oh, uh, we uh, bummed around Azkaban, me and the boys, and we sucked joy out of this group of muggles. It was sick. Um, I sucked two souls. One was really good. Uh, nice wizard, very happy childhood, blah, blah, yum. The other, uh, I was like, you call this a soul? Okay, sure. And as I was slurping this dude's soul, I was like, dude, uh, did you seriously spend your entire life in a basement fiddling around with a cauldron? Huh? And then uh, after, uh, after I sucked his soul, I, I got sad because I just had this thought, like, you know, Hypothetically, if I had a soul, like, what would my soul be like? What would, what would my soul taste like? But I don't have a soul. Definitely don't have a soul. Yeah, she's made that pretty clear. <laughs> Dementals don't have souls. Foul creatures roaming the earth. Soulless and evil. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I had to parse it, which is, is why I hired you to parse, I, it doesn't make me feel great, okay? I mean, I probably have a complex about it. Yeah, what's the name of that complex where you don't have a soul and, and everyone's judging you for not having a soul? Because I, I probably have that. Okay, and another thing, I mean, not to be dramatic, but I, I definitely think I'm gonna die alone. I mean, everyone is, is, is convinced that I'm gonna kiss them with a dementor kiss and, and suck their souls out. Everyone's always like, your mouth is a gaping shapeless soul with putrid death cold breath, ew. You know, I'm trying. I'm on the apps. But you just can't get past people's preconceptions. Look, and I guess it makes me feel hurt, all of it. Not having a soul and not having any other clothes besides my signature black hood and also, you know, not having a gender, you know. She is really weird about gender. Have you noticed that? Really weird about gender. You know, I bet she's not even, is she watching? No, I bet she's not watching. This is this is confidential, right? Okay, because you know it. It's just occurring to me that you haven't said anything. Uh, are, are you supposed to be saying something? Because no offense, but I paid almost three galleons for this session, and and that is a lot for me. Dementors are famously underpaid. And <coughs> sorry. Oh no 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 no! I just need a cough drop. It's all good. I, why are you leaving? You think that I'm gonna suck your soul? No, I'm not, I would never, okay? I would never, I, uh, <clears throat> I mean, maybe, maybe I would if, if, you know, your soul was emanating a joyous light and you just played with a bunch of puppies or something recently. I'm kidding, I was kidding, it was a joke. JK, JK! <laughs> JK? Guess it's just you and me now. In case you didn't hear, I had a breakthrough in today's session. The breakthrough is, something has got to change. You don't like this, do you, JK? You don't wanna to have to deal with a hoodless, naked Dementor running around trying to not Dementor kiss kiss people. That's not the story you wanted. I know you'll probably kill me off in a surprise sequel or tan genital cinematic franchise or maybe even in a tweet, but I gotta be me. So you know what, JK? You can kiss my Dementor 